Cody Askins, what, what questions you got for this gentleman? I'm yeah, out of question. I mean, you, you mentioned earlier, you've talked a lot about activity, which I'm a huge mm -hmm. fan of. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I felt like I had success early on due to the same thing, activity. Um, wh what's a, is there a system for like set, sit, sales, activity number? Like what's some things like how many people you want to, you know, like activity wise that an agent could learn and, and glean from? Mm -hmm. Um, that's a great question. It's different for every person. Uh, you know, the people that are doing seminars and events, like Landon mentioned, we have a very aggressive co-op. Um, for our new agents, we're pushing out seminar mailings and we've got libraries locked down. We've got, you know, senior centers, different places where we're doing events. Obviously we can't do that stuff right now, but that's what we were doing. We also do carrier events. You know, we've got a lot of different carriers who will host events and, and have like a, an agent work those events. Um, so in terms of numbers, it's kind of hard to put my finger on it, but, um, in terms of knocking doors, I was always a, a fan of, look, if you actually physically talk to 15 people per day, not knock on the door and run away and you didn't talk to anybody, you knock <laughs> on the door and you actually talk to 15 people in a day, you're going to make a sale every single day doing that. And it does not take very long where that number shrinks down. You know, it, you go from 15 to 10 to then it goes to five. And then like, you know, every three that you're knocking, you know, that you're actually talking to, you get in, you, you're, you're able to have an opportunity to write that person, help that person with some business. Um, so, you know, for a new agent starting out, I want them to talk to about insurance, 15 people per day. Um, that number comes down and then when they're doing events and they're doing different things. Um, but that's kind of still what I do and I don't try to be gimmicky with it. Like, Oh, you make 15 calls, you get five and then three. I don't, I don't try to be that way. I'm just like, look, if, if you're doing the activity and you're genuinely seeing and talking to 15 people every day, you're going to average one sale a day. So if you do that five days a week, that's five sales. And then that number starts coming down. So then if you keep seeing 15 people, you might make two out of the 15, two sales. So then you're at 10 a week and then the number just continues to come down. So that's kind of the system for someone who's brand new with us. Um, but right now with on the phones, um, it's, kind of, it's kind of changed things up because that's not really, I mean, I'm not telling you anything I haven't told Landon. That's not really the way that we've operated. You know, we've operated face to face, we've done meetings, but, Hey, everybody's had to adjust and it's perfectly fine. You know, now we're making phone calls. Um, you know, we're using some predictive dialers. We're doing some different things like that, that we're plugging people in and I'm not making it like a blanket. Everybody's going to do this. No, I mean, every person is a little bit different. Um, the agents that have a large book of business, what I've encouraged them to do is reach out to your current clients, reach out to some of your best clients that have sent you referrals, visit with them, see how they're doing, you know, see like if there's anything you can help them with. And what I have found is it doesn't take very many phone calls to your happy clients. You start getting referrals. You start getting the phone calls saying, Hey, they don't know what to do right now. They can't go to the local office. It's, it's closed. You know, they're not taking in-person meetings. Um, would you be able to help them? And we're like, absolutely. Um, or cross sales, you know, some things that maybe they weren't thinking about. Maybe they have a Medicare Advantage plan and they didn't even think about having a hospital indemnity um, or cancer coverage or dental vision and hearing. Some of those things, I've seen uh, a big jump in those types of sales because they're reaching out to their current block of business and maybe something they didn't think about at that time or life insurance. I, I think industry-wide life insurance has been way up um, in the last few weeks. Um, and, and it has with our company as well. So um, it's just a different way of doing business now. And I don't really have like a set number of make this many calls, but it's activity. It's putting in the time and the effort and you know, you'll see the results yeah. if you're putting in the time and effort. Totally. I mean, a similar idea, uh, Landon, uh, uh, we have a buddy, uh, his name's Nate Offert. He'll actually be on the virtual conference Saturday. He, uh, he, 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 when he's, when he first started out recruiting, he recruited 69 people in his first 60 days. Uh, you, you may have saw that webinar or whatever we did, but he would actually start out with 10 pennies in his left pocket. And by the end of the day, he wanted all 10 pennies to be moved to the right pocket. And one by one, you know, he would talk to somebody about the opportunity. So 
you know, similar idea. Um, I remember when I was cold door knocking, if I'm, if I'm knocking about 50 doors, I would talk to about 15 people and I would end up with a cell. Literally almost identical to what you Yeah, did. yeah, yeah, because I didn't say the number that was knocked. I was just saying no matter how many you have to knock, see 15 people. Yes. So, yeah, same, same concept. Good. That's so good. Yeah. I love it. Well, Cody so, Askins, you got any other questions for, for Cody? Or Cody, you got any questions for us? Um, actually, I have a kind of a funny little story. I've shared this with a lot of my agents that were new to the business. Remember I told you earlier, I would drive an hour and 45 minutes to these meetings. Well, there's an individual that works in our company. He's been in the business over 60 years. He was the one I was telling you about, you know, he was in Medicare or he was in insurance before Medicare was a thing. And he's still a high producer, extremely successful, and someone that I look forward to listening, hearing him speak every Friday. And I remember one time, uh, you know, I would take notes. I had a little notepad and I would take notes in these meetings. And I remember one time uh, I was very new in the business and he held up his fingers and he said, there's three ways to be really successful in this business. And here I am, I've got my notepad and I'm ready to take notes. And uh, I write down number one and he said, see the people. And I was like, okay. Number two, he said, see the people. And I was like, oh, okay, I see where he's going here. Number three, see the people. And I was like, okay, that was a message to me early on. It was like, look, this is activity. This is getting out, getting in front of people. There are so many people that need help. There are so many people that want help. Um, maybe they don't know who to go to. Um, and it's just putting ourselves in front of those individuals and helping those people. And ultimately, I mean, I think it's Zig Ziglar, you know, the more people that you help, the closer you can get to um, everything that you want in life by helping others. So, right. yeah, uh, and paraphrasing, but yeah. Right. Yeah. It seems like we have a very similar um, insurance background in that a lot of the stuff you're saying is a lot of the stuff that I was taught or that I learned along the way, uh, my first several years in the business, you know, I mean, I used to do a video series called see the people because it, you know, cause I heard it so much. So I did, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. That's that awesome. was back in probably 2016 okay. uh, on YouTube, but yeah, okay. I had like a video series called see the people, uh, because it was like, I had heard it so much and that's, that's yeah. what I knew, you know? Yeah. Since 2008, every year. And now my agents all know. So it's funny, you know how uh, STP, like the, the oil, you know, you'll see the, the logos yes. on like the NASCARs and things like that. Oh. I purchased a couple of those magnets. And at the end of the year, I put them in like a, like the Christmas card to a couple of my agents who I know just, they go out and they see, and they said STP. They're like, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, <laughs> we always talk about STP times three. See the people, see the people, see the people. So I love it. I love so, it. Yeah. And I mean, all those things were things that I learned from people that some of them, there was nothing in it for them other than they wanted to help someone who they saw as being young, new in the business. And there was nothing in it for them other than they liked seeing, you know, some of the others be successful. So I'm trying to take some of those same things in the position that I'm in now and help some of the agents uh, to be successful because one, there's so many opportunities out there. I mean, I hear all these people, like I have friends that are servers that work at factories, all these different things. They're shut down right now. You know, they're filing for unemployment. Their businesses are struggling. And, you know, I look back and I'm like, thank goodness that I'm in the business that I'm in. And I remember in 2008, people were like, Oh, why don't you get a real job with a salary and this and that, and you could do this and you could do that. And those same people now are like, man, I wish I would have done what, what you've done, you know? And it's like, I always knew the, the vision for long-term um, because I had seen people that were successful, like those people I told you about. I mean, those were my mentors and I had, I've already seen what they could do. So I was like, if they can do it, I can do it. And I want that same thing, like, I guess adding to, you know, what I look for in someone that I hire, a lot of those people, I see it in their eyes. They're like, if Cody can do it, I can do it. And I'm like, that's good. That's what I want. I want those people because I want them to look at me or, or, uh, you know, someone else that's successful in our company and say, if he can do it, I can do it, you know? Right. On. I got a, I got a question for you. Yeah. So, um, how are you going to get to 12 million a year? Well, um, 
keep helping the people that I currently have so they can increase their production and keep duplicating what we're already doing. You know, turn, turn the Nashville office from uh, eight agents into 16 agents, turn the Des Moines office into, you know, just double, double the numbers, you know, and, and, and not necessarily double the agents. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's also those individuals that are new that are now getting more referrals and they're, you know, they're more refined, you know, they, they know the things to say and not to say, um, they know the, the places to put their activity versus places not to put their activity. So it's getting those individuals who have been in the business now one or two years, maybe three years, helping them to become more successful and they're going to write more business and then adding more individuals um, underneath those other teams as well. So that's the plan. So I, I can see training, recruiting and marketing. It sounds like, right? What's that? Training, recruiting and marketing, right? Those are exactly. the two things. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Come on, man. It's huge. Dude, this has been great, man. I, I, I'm, yeah. I can already tell I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love getting to know you, buddy. Uh, I'm Absolutely. So far and excited to see it continue. Hey, if you like this video, which I know you did with my buddy Landon and I, and you want to learn how to sell final expense over the phone, I got an amazing video for you. For you. It's right here. Click on that. And we'll see you there. True story. Either way, I have one of my good buddies here in the office, Dallas. He loves to drive. We used to drive all over the state together, door knocking everywhere.